Darkest Dungeon has quite a variety of classes. You have your Plague Doctors, your Vestals, your Bounty Hunters, your rat as fuck Archer Cavalier who rides a ghostly Baja Blast Horse that helps him dance around the battlefield while also healing your allies by means of self-immolation. Wait, what? Yes, there is a class that is everything I just said and more. A dedicated soldier who has taken their horse back from the grave using... Not the most conventional of methods that specializes in backline damage or frontline healing. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you the Cataphract to the Hamlet. The Cataphract is based off of, well, Cataphracts, fully armored cavalier warriors. Though, due to their horse's condition, the Cataphract spends most of their time on their own two feet. But when the time calls, they're able to summon their Baja Buckaroo to easily access the front or back lines of battle. They specialize in archery, pole arms, unorthodox medical techniques, and finally the ultimate weapon, Ghost Horse. Your skills consist of the toothpick, the hottest heel. I'm only doing this for the prot. You thought I was just a healer? You can't miss if you just aim for everything. Go, go, gadget ghost horse. And finally, so, so, Cataphract's catch 22 is that he really only works in the fourth or the first slot, due to his primary damage skill being locked in the fourth slot, while all of his healing skills are exclusive to the first. So here are my two main builds for our equestrian acquaintance. The first build is what I like to call the Cooler Vestal. This build requires you to be placed in the first slot, focusing on your single target and party heals. I've placed Thrust and Onslaught as your last two abilities, so you're able to get back into the action if you get shuffled out of position. Our second build is called Don't Knock It Till You Try It. No, no, no. This build will primarily focus on your archery skills, sacrificing healing for DPS. Your last two skills will be Onslaught and Wheeling Disengage, because if we're going for DPS, we might as well throw some fun horse dancing into the mix. In terms of camping, the Cataphract can be quite the asset, such as polishing a friend's armor, sewing his banner back together for better healing, letting the ghost horse loose to loom over people while they sleep, and saying hello to PTSD by digging up repressed war memories for the party's enjoyment. Cataphract has either a ton of really useful or really fun trinkets, but my personal favorite has to be his Crimson Court set. It allows you to have a much higher virtue chance in making afflictions more tolerable. Just make sure to avoid any fast food, because you'll be hitting heart attacks left and right with this set. If you're interested in using the Cataphract, I'll leave a link in the description for you. But for now, it's time for us to get in some good old archery practice. Just make sure to remember... Alone in the woods or tunnels, survival is the same. Prepare, persist, and overcome. <laughs> 